<laughs> Hi there. Welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is the second part of Consider Your Point of View. Before you start a painting, are you gonna look at your subject matter straight on, from above, on the side, underneath? It all depends, but consider it. Why be normal? So this is the second part. You saw the first part about all the different kinds of things you consider. For me, I'm gonna be doing one where I'm looking on landscape, but looking from above, looking straight down. Here are some examples of some of the pieces that I'm working on right now, where it's the sky view looking straight down. This is part of my 30,000 feet exhibit I'm putting together. So that's the name of the show. So everything's all about patterns, the river bases, the fields, the plowed fields, the things that are growing, and now so the empty fields, but still it's, it's this beautiful abstract feeling. This is almost looking like straight out into a horizontal, but not really, because I twist it around a little bit. I love that twisting around an awful lot. So I continued on this series of looking straight down on patterns, fields, farmers, cities, busy areas, quiet areas, and I'm even working on these large ones. This is one of my larger pieces. I'm looking straight down part of the 30,000 feet. Okay, and so you can almost see the lines, the roads, the, the rivers and all that. You know, what really inspired me was this David Hockney. Oh gosh, you all know about David Hockney. And this is all about his Santa Monica Drive series that he did. They're huge, by the way, but I love how he twists angles and colors. He just has such a great time and I decided I'm gonna have a good time too. You should too. Let me show you how I do it. So I'm working on a series of this 30,000 feet uh, exhibit of just paper right now. And the paper is 24 by 24. Kilimanjaro paper, 300 pound because it's really thick. And, and really heavy and takes a beating. Okay, and you can see some ones that I've started already. I just do a whole lot of starts. I really don't paint a lot on them other than the intention of graphic design and things like that. Here's one, here's another one with more of a reddish glow. I started putting a, a, a landscape style in here and I said, no, I don't want that. So I stopped. Here's some more that I started. More atmospheric, looking straight down would be just so much fun to play with. So these are just the beginnings. Here's the one I'm gonna work on right now, okay? So I started this by the basic coat of a tone, or more of a kind of a yellowish, ochre-ish kind of a tone, and I start drawing into it. I should show you my paints. What I'm using are the Holbein acrylic paints. I've already squeezed them out. I have the red, the orange, the yellows, the greens, the purples, the blues, boy, am I set. I have three big dollops of white titanium sitting here ready to go. And I have my big brushes, but wait, there's more. I have scraping tools. I love to scrape and scratch in here. And this is one of those water soluble drawing crayons that I love to draw in here so much because it just melts and falls apart. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna start right off with a composition landscapes. This is totally free time for me. When I start, I start off very, very loose and free. You don't start off tight thinking you're going to get looser later. You won't. So this is just part of the loosening up. You know, it's almost like your Pilates, your stretching exercises. Now watch what happens when I put water on top of this water soluble. Oh my gosh. These crayons are great, aren't they? Just look at that. It melts it all around, but I want to get into color. So the most important color for me would be landscape color. Well, that would be more of a yellow, maybe a little bit of green in here. I'm going to throw some red in here so it's not so, oh, it's kind of a brownish color now. But here's how I'm going to make it neutral. I don't particularly care for this color for what I want to do. So I'm going to add a lot of white into it. Oh, there's the color I want. See how I've neutralized it? I'm adding a little bit of blue in here just to see what happens. Oh, I love that. Look at this. Big brushes, big brushes, by the way. So this would be very dramatic farmland looking down. 
different buildings. So I'm, I'm playing with patterns at this point. At this point, just playing with patterns. And color, neutral colors, look at that, whoa. You never know how it's gonna end up. But right now I'm thinking it needs a surprise. I like to go right for the surprise right at the beginning. Well, it's farm country. Are we talking about barns? Are we talking about maybe some flowers in the fields? Why not? This might be a place that grows lots of beautiful flowers. Lompoc, California, something like that. There we go. There are nice surprises. Let's put some blue up in here. Oh, well. So I'm looking at it as a graphic design piece at this point. This is a really super quick demo, everybody. It's no way will I ever get to the end result. But I want you to see the approach that I like to take. Always starting off loose, big, big brushes. And I do like the graphic design of looking straight down. Scraping with the back end of your brush. And I know you see all this stuff when you look out the windows and you've been wanting to paint these things. But wait a minute, we need to have something round. There's your surprise. Ah, something round in here. Subtle colors. Notice I'm not using really strong colors either. Pretty strong over here. I'm going to tone it down just a little bit. One of the things that impresses me looking down on farmland, especially, is how organized it is. I just can't believe it. And they do this every day, so thank you farmers and anybody who works out there in the fields. I like how this is coming together. You have some neutral patterns, then you have some busy areas that get your attention. There's no way this is completely finished, but I'm gonna add more water. Ah, the water is what makes it so soft. I do like the soft, it's kind of out of focus. I don't want to put everything in focus. And I, I like to have only one area that's going to be the focal point. You can see how this is developing into a focal point. So I'm toning this part down, but still you see the patterns. Well, I'm going to stop at this point here. Up in here. There we go. It's hard to stop. When you play like this, when you play like this, it's really hard to stop. And that's why I have many of them on backup. So when I'll work on this one while it's too wet. I'll move over to the other ones. And I'll keep on going, keep on going, keep. At the end of the day, I'm going to have a stack of them. Many are called, but a few are chosen. <laughs> And I'll, I'll pick the best ones, and they're the ones that go out to the galleries. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this different way of looking at things. And remember, pull it all back to you. You're the artist, you're the creative one, and you're the one that's gonna look at things differently. And I can't wait to see your paintings. Hey, I'll see you on the next Bob Blast. Hello, I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm here once again to invite you to another one of those wonderful virtual juried shows. You guys did a great job on the last one. This is our second one. And the theme this time is called, fantastic theme, table setting. Think about that. It could be anything. Table for one, table for two, a buffet. It could be anything. The best part is that Karen Vernon, the international juror, is going to be the jury one person to look at this work. So send in th at least three of your pieces. And it can be abstract, it can be realistic, but remember the theme is table setting. So remember, it could be anything you wanna do. The theme, table setting. So the information and prospectus, of course, is on my website, go to my website. But the deadline, the most important part here is this month, the 28th is the deadline, so don't delay here. There's plenty of prizes. Oh my gosh, the last one was so successful, but I just want you to do it again. It was so exciting to see international paintings all over the world come in for the last theme. So this one, table setting, lots of prizes. Table setting. See your work soon. Take care.
Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and I'm here to invite you to a major event at the Sarasota Arts Center. I get to be a teacher, and I get to meet you all in four major Zoom events. All right, you wanna do that, don't you? I know, you get to paint along with me, or just watch. The first one, I'm just gonna be doing demos. You'll see the dates coming up. It's pretty soon, it's right around the corner. And we're gonna be painting, and you can watch me. It's a great event. So I can't wait to come back in the Zoom workshop. So the other workshops was three days of loosening up and who doesn't want to loosen up? So it'll be three days of painting and loosening up. And then right after that, we have four days of abstract painting and collage. We're gonna put it all together. Can you imagine four days of abstract painting and collage? You're gonna know more than most artists at the end of all of this event. And the last one we're gonna be doing, I hope that Kate will join me because she's the real marketeer. And we're gonna be doing a whole thing on marketing your artwork, how to make more money, or how to even sell a painting. I can't wait at the Sarasota Arts Center. Sign up, look at the dates. It's very exciting, you better sign up now. And I can't wait to see you and show you what works for me. Hi there, I'm Bob Burridge, and this is all about Date Night with Bob. We just got finished doing one. See the paintings behind me? This is a two hour, kind of a Zoom painting workshop is what it is. And we were painting for two hours. You can either do it along with me or you can sit back and have a, an adult beverage and watch at the same time. This is called a fun thing we're gonna be doing. We've done them already, so it's called Date Night with Bob. And don't you want to do that on a, whatever nights we have? Check out the schedule. It's right behind me. And we're going to be painting like crazy. I'll see you on Date Night with Bob.